Piers Morgan, a British royal commentator, is now speaking out about Kate Middleton's appearance. He says that he's got a source who recently saw Kate Middleton. And according to Piers Morgan's source, Kate Middleton looked severely unhealthy after her abdominal surgery. And it's for this reason that Piers Morgan doesn't believe that that Mother's Day photo um, was accurate. And we've already found out that it's inaccurate, but it is rather interesting that Piers Morgan is out here saying that as well because he quite typically has been known to go to bat for William and Kate to the point where he is willing to neglect the facts. So this says a lot that he is willing to tell the truth here about something that is just so contentious. So shout out to TMZ. They're putting together um, some sort of program called Where is Kate Middleton? It's gonna be airing today actually, today's Thursday. Um, so this is a clip in promotion of that. So let's take a look. I'm not convinced that the picture of Kate herself was taken the week before, because I know somebody who saw her that week who said she didn't look anything like the picture. What did this person say she looked like? It was just somebody who, who bumped into her, who knows her, who just said that she looked a lot uh, thinner than she did in the picture. But certainly if you look at the picture, she looks uh, absolutely blooming with good health. I do not believe that's an accurate reflection of how she actually looked at the time. Did this person say she was alarmingly thin? Kate is pretty thin anyway, and she was described to me as being thinner than usual. So there you have it. This source said that Kate um, was very, 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 very thin when they saw her. So when Harvey Levin asked, was Kate alarmingly thin? Here's the thing. Kate already is, in my opinion, like typically on that side of the scale, you know, just very, very like remarkably, I should say remarkably thin. So the idea that she's already thinner than that to me denotes that, yeah, she was, um, alarmingly thin and that you know that is rather worrisome you know like when you undergo a surgery and everything like that yeah sometimes you lose weight due to dietary restrictions afterwards but um you also need to do your best to keep on weight and to put on some weight in some cases some people don't need don't have any business putting on extra weight but you know in certain cases in order to help you continue to fight your way back you know um so that is rather um scary for her you know hopefully she's doing better now but that is rather alarming to hear especially when it comes from Piers Morgan who like I said earlier seems to have some sort of invisible contract with Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace to always stay positive positive. and right now here he is diving into the fray saying that that photo um, was not a recent photo of Kate Middleton. When Pierce says that what he's saying is that Will and Kate lied because Will and Kate very specifically said on their Kensington Palace Instagram page that that photo was taken within the past week of it being posted. So there he is. You're hearing it out of his mouth that Piers Morgan is saying, or he's calling William and Kate liars. And he is a very, very prominent figure in the world of royal commentating. So for him to upright, outright say that, that they're lying is a very, very big deal. We already know that they lied, right? Because at least 13 errors um, were found in that image. But this, this is rather interesting. You know, I wonder if this is going to affect his relationship with Camilla in any way, because it has long been rumored that Camilla is a source for him over at the palace. Um, you know, <sighs> I'm just so fascinated by this. Listen, I don't know how to watch these TMZ uh, investigations or whatever documentaries they put out. There was another one I wanted to watch too, but I don't know where these air. If you guys have any idea how to watch this, especially from Europe, do please let me know because I would love to tune in and see what they've got going on because this mystery of Kate's whereabouts just keeps getting weirder and weirder by the second. Kensington Palace, William and Kate can very easily put all of this to bed by simply filming a thank you video. Thank you for all of these well wishes, everybody. You know, this is so kind of you to send me these cards and all of these kind thoughts and prayers, but they're not doing that. You know, instead they're putting together and releasing fake photos of the family. And then now we've got this 
a video of alleged Kate walking down the farmer's market, like pr practically speed walking it with a heavy bag in her hand and everything. But nothing, and it was blurry as with everything we've seen of Kate recently, right? If it's not Photoshopped to death, it's blurry. Um, it's just, it's so weird. I really want to tune into this TMZ documentary. So if you guys are able to uh, point me in the right direction to watch that, please do, because I would love to recap that for you, because I know you have been so, so heavily engaged in this saga and in this story with me. And I thank you for joining me. By the way, if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel for consistent royal news and news on this freaking mystery, um, celebrity news and reality TV recaps. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.